president. The economy is doing very, very well. Uh, we have numbers coming from companies that are beyond expectations. The tax cuts are working very, very well. So uh, we're very proud of the economy. Uh, job numbers are as good as we've ever had. And more people are working right now than ever worked in our country before. We're doing really well. I'd like to congratulate Bibi Netanyahu. It looks like that race has been won by him. It may be a little early, but I'm hearing he's won it and won it in good fashion. So uh, he's been a great ally. And he's a friend. I'd like to congratulate him. That was a well-thought-out race, I can tell you. But it looks like uh, Bibi has won that race. Go ahead, Steve. Say it. So the fact that Bibi won, I think we'll see some pretty good action in terms of peace. Look, everyone said, and I never made it a promise, but everybody said you can't have peace in the Middle East with Israel and the Palestinians. I think we have a chance, and I think we have now a better chance with Bibi having won. Yes, please, Major. Hold it, Major. No, there is no law. Uh, as you know, I got elected last time with the same issue, and while I'm under audit, I won't do it. If I'm not under audit, I would do it. I had no problem with it. But while I'm under audit, I would not give my taxes. Uh, there's no law whatsoever. Now, I will say this. Uh, I would love to give them, but I'm not going to do it while I'm under audit. It's very simple. Remember, I got elected last time, the same exact issue, with the same intensity, which wasn't very much, because, frankly, the people don't care. What I have done is approximately a 104-page summary and really in great detail of assets and values and what, nobody wants to go over that because it's so good. I built a great company, one of the best companies. I have some of the greatest assets in the world. I did a good job. And now, frankly, I don't care about them. I only care about the United States. But I have no obligation to do that while I'm under audit. And no lawyer would tell you to release your tax returns while you're under order. I think that the whole asylum rules, laws, and regulations have been taken advantage of by people that are very bad people in many cases. These are the people running the cartels. They're gaming the system. They have been for years. The only difference is our economy is now so strong that more people come up. We have done a great job at the border with bad laws. It's very important that the Democrats in Congress change these loopholes. If they don't change them, we're just going to be fighting. Now, the other thing, we built a lot of wall, a lot of wall, and it's new wall. You know, when we rip down an old wall and then replace it, it's called a new wall, and that's what we've done. A lot of wall is going up, and every place we build a wall, it's less and less. But the power of the economy, it's like a magnet. It's bringing more people than we've seen in a long time. Major. Well, the Mueller report's interesting. After $35 million, with 13 increased to 18 angry Democrats, people that truly hated Donald Trump, truly hated Trump, they found no collusion whatsoever with Russia. But I could have told you that, and so could most people, and so could have everybody that voted for me, which was a lot of people. So after wasting all of this money and all of this time, with people that were haters, people that worked on the Hillary Clinton Foundation, people that were absolutely haters of Trump, they found no collusion. What has been found during this period of time are the illegal acts of getting this whole phony investigation started. And hopefully, that's where people are going now. That's where people are going. And it's very interesting. It was an illegal investigation, Major. It was an illegal investigation. It was started illegally. 
Everything about it was crooked. Every single thing about it. There were dirty cops. These were bad people. You look at McCabe and Comey, and you look at Lisa and Peter Strzok. These were bad people. And this was a, an attempted coup. This was an attempted takedown of a president. And we beat them. We beat them. So the Mueller report, when they talk about obstruction, what, we fight back. And you know why we fight back? Because I knew how illegal this whole thing was. It was a scam. And what I'm most interested in, excuse me, what I'm most interested in is getting started. Hopefully the attorney general, he mentioned it yesterday, he's doing a great job getting started on going back to the origins of exactly where this all started. Because this was an illegal witch hunt and everybody knew it and they knew it too. And they got caught and what they did was treason. What they did was terrible. What they did was against our constitution and everything we stand for. So hopefully that will happen. There is a hunger for that to happen in this country like I have never seen before, including all of the millions of people that voted for me. What they did was disgraceful. There's never been anything like it in the history of our country. Thank you. Well, I like Herman Cain, and Herman will make that determination. Uh, Herman is a wonderful man. He's been a supporter of mine for a long time. He actually ran a very good campaign, and that's up to Herman. I, Herman is, you know, he's already sat on one of the Fed boards, and he's just somebody I like a lot. As to how he's doing in the process, that I don't know. You go through a process. But uh, Herman's a great guy, and I hope he does well. Thank you. Now, Stephen is an excellent guy. He's a wonderful person. People don't know him. He's a wonderful, been, been with me from the beginning. He's a, a brilliant man. And frankly, uh, there's only one person that's running it. You know who that is? It's me. <laughs> I have not seen the Mueller report. I have not read the Mueller report. I won. No collusion, no obstruction. I won. Everybody knows I won, and the pros knew it was illegally started. The whole thing was illegal. I have not read the Mueller report. I haven't seen the re Mueller report. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care about the Mueller report. I've been totally exonerated. No collusion, no obstruction, and I'm off to dealing with China. I'm off to dealing with North Korea. I'm off to dealing with Venezuela and all the problems in this world. I'm not worrying about something that never, ever should have taken place. I did not see what happened. I did not see what happened to Candace Owens. Excuse me. I did not see what happened to Candace Owens. Well, I, I think that's a terrible thing. I think, I think that's a terrible thing that he would do that. I find her to be a very, I know her. I think she's a fine person, a fine young woman. And I think that's disgraceful that they could say that. I don't hear you. I respect him, I like him, and he's somebody that, you know, I have a lot of regard for. My finances are very clean. I don't think there is an investigation. Uh, if you say it, I don't know, but I don't think there is an investigation. My finances are very clean. Well, I like him a lot. He's doing a very good job. Uh, it could happen. We'll make a determination. Are you looking at others like this? Uh, we have others, but right now he's the man. He's doing a great job.
Kevin. Okay. Thank you. See you in Texas. We also have learned that the full Mueller report will be released within a week. We learned this of all places during a budget hearing. A budget hearing because, of course, <laughs> so much for the budget. Why talk about the budget when you can talk about Mueller, right? And that's how Congress sees it. Watch. Two and a half weeks ago, the Mueller report was completed in extremely quick fashion. You turn a 300-plus page report into a four-page letter that supposedly summarized the findings. I want to address a serious oversight matter, your unacceptable handling of special counsel Robert Mueller's report. And the president states that this report is a complete and total exoneration. Who's factually accurate? As I say, it's hard to have that discussion without the contents of the report, isn't it? And that's why I'm suggesting that we wait until the report is out. I'd love to talk to you about your uh, 2020 budget, but what is far more critical at President and is, has much far re more reaching consequences to the credibility of our government is the prompt and full disclosure of the um, Mueller report. All right, so here they go again, right? With a constant collusion, delusion, outcry. Here's the thing, guys. Hate to tell you. <laughs> Some good news, actually. It's coming out. Don't worry. I promise. It really is coming out. The report. And everyone's on your side on that one. No one's actually saying that the American public doesn't deserve the right to see what exactly is in Mueller's findings. We all want to know. And after all, it was two years and millions of taxpayer dollars. So indeed, yes, we should see it. And yes, there will be redacted information as it relates to intelligence sources that would be compromised. So you're going to need to get over that one. Anyway, I, I give the Attorney General Barr credit for being such a patient man, for putting up with these politicians, right? And for patiently answering their questions as he did today. I also give him credit for issuing a statement shortly after receiving Mueller's findings, because had he not, can you imagine the speculation that would have then happened? I mean, it's bad enough, right, as it is.